Gold Squad TV's um, Team USA loses to Nigeria. Nigeria in the um, exhibition game. For those who don't know, Nigeria was coached by Coach Mike Brown, former NBA Coach of the Year, and had nine players in the NBA on their roster. Much improved from the days where they were getting smoked by 50 points in the you know, back in the day by Kobe's um, USA team. Um, that said, it's a, it's an exhibition. I don't understand, you know, you know, of course people are going to be all cocky and arrogant about United States basketball. We have the most talented players in the world and we should always win every single fucking USA game, whatever. But truth of the matter is y'all don't pay attention to basketball overseas. Um, basketball overseas is you're catching up. They've been catching up for years. And if you don't put the most cohesive team together, sometimes it's not always about putting the best stars together. We're finding out is you just can't put NBA players together anymore. And just think you're going to go and blow these teams out. This has been going on since 2004 when we lost. We didn't get the gold medal at all. We only got the silver, I believe. We're not even like the bronze medal one of the years. And Tim Duncan was on that team. Allen Iverson, LeBron James. Carmelo Anthony were on that team. Um, you know, not even that long ago, Jason Tatum, although he got hurt, he was on that team that didn't even get a medal um, in the FIBA games. So Jason Tatum had 15 points. They stopped feeding the ball. Zach Levine had a pretty shitty game, despite almost getting, you know, almost blowing out his knee in the second quarter. He took too many unnecessary shots, in my opinion. Especially when he was in the game and Tatum was on the bench. Durant was on the bench and Lillard was on the bench. KD didn't have a good shooting night. He tried to come up big and late, but didn't have a good shooting night. It's a little rusty. Um, Beal really didn't do much. Um, Jason was the best player all night for Team USA and they didn't get him the ball. It's a teaching moment though. But... I see a lot of people in the comment sections and stuff talking about how Tatum didn't pass the ball. And, you know, when you're that, you guys got to understand, man. You guys are so obsessed with LeBron James and the way LeBron makes players better that you guys don't understand that Kobe and Jordan were the original blueprint for how guys like Jason Tatum played. Um, they need point guards in order to get them involved. You know, this team doesn't have... Damian Lillard, this is a perfect example of why I said this wouldn't work in Boston. Damian Lillard is the point guard. He's not a pass first point guard. Score. You're seeing what happens when you put too many scores on in a lineup. That said, we should win the next few games. We should win the gold once China starts. And so I'm not worried about it. I think this is going to be the motivator to get those guys up. Um, but to sit there and say Jason Tatum didn't have any effort or say Jason Tatum then doesn't make players better. I, I would I would suggest you guys watch the 2020 um, playoffs when he was averaging about six or seven assists a game in the bubble. Um, people don't like Jason Tatum's ISO. Get used to it because that's how he scores. That's how he's always scored. He's always been that type of player. Can't tell that man to change his game. That's what he is. You don't like it, don't watch the Celtics. You, know, you don't like it, don't watch Jason Tatum. You know, those guys are the ones that usually win in this league. Kawhi Leonard's an ISO scorer. Nobody ever goes at Kawhi. You know what I mean? LeBron James is an ISO scorer who just happens to have a lot of passing ability. You know what I mean? He knows how to draw a double team. That's no that's no knock on on anyone. Not every, now people put these insane expectations, say Luka Donage makes players better. How many games has Luka Donage won in the playoffs? Puts up great numbers. Has he ever been to the conference finals? No, Jason Tatum has been in the conference finals multiple times in his young career. So, um, Anyway, team, let me not go on a rant. Um, it's not my basketball rant um, episode. I'll have one of those tomorrow. Um, Gold Squad TV, Jason Tatum and the USA team lose 90-87. They'll be back. Let these cats try to sit there. Don't, you guys need to pay attention to international ball more and stop underestimating your opponents. And I'm, I'm not just speaking about the players. I'm talking about you fans too. Know your knowledge. Don't, oh, don't let these people sit there and say it's an embarrassment because we lost. 
game is changing. They're catching up. Show some respect to Nigeria. Go squad TV.